this video, I'm going to show you how to adjust the Makita miter saw. I had some issues with mine and it needed some resetting. For I couldn't find any high quality instruction videos, I had to use the Makita manual, which was sometimes a little bit difficult to understand, and needed some continuous switching between the drawings and the instructions. So I thought I should make a video of, in case someone needs as much help as I did. All the instructions may vary between the different models. This is a Makita LS1018L. I don't claim these instructions to be right, although it's based on the Makita manual. Always check your manual first. Do only what you're confident with and make sure to unplug the saw before working. For the work on the Makita miter saw you need a square. I recommend using two, a smaller and a larger one. I had some extra wrenches, inbus drivers and screwdrivers, but you don't need to. A usable wrench is in the left pipe of the extender arm. First of all unplug the saw, then remove all the components of the fans. The screws for that are behind the fans so that no dust can get into. If there's any, clean it up. First thing to check, how accurate cuts the saw a 90 degree cut. To check its vertical squareness, move the saw down and put the stopper pin in so it's locked. Pull the saw in its farthest position to have fully access to the zero degree adjusting bolt. You find this where the arm meets the body. On the right hand side you find two of these adjusting bolts. The top one is the right one. Use your square while adjusting the screw. Losing the screw makes the top of the blade tilt to the right. Tighten the screw tilts the top to the left. Check after every turn on both sides of the saw blade if it's square to the saw base. If not, keep on adjusting. Attention! Don't rely on the marks of the scale. We do readjust these later. When you think you're done, make a test cut. By make sure to plug in the power and remove all tools before you cut. For your test piece use a piece of wood that you know is dead square. Check your test piece for vertical squareness. If it's good, you can do the next step. If it's not, you have to readjust till it is. But don't forget to unplug. Next is adjusting the fans. Make sure that you did unplug the power. Remove all parts of the fans, except the guide fans. Losing the screws a little bit. It would be wise to remove the green curve board before cutting into it accidentally. Then get yourself a long square and move the fans till it's square to the blade. The trickiest part are the teeth of the saw blade. Those produced of the main body. Tighten the screws down. Make a test cut. Now check for horizontal squareness. Readjust if necessary, but make sure that you are unplugged. Before we can go on to the next steps, we have to readjust the pointers on the scales. Set both of them absolutely perfectly on the zero degree mark. Both the one for the vertically adjustment as well as the one for the horizontally adjustment. Now you can check if the horizontally bevels are exact, in the 45 position for example. For this turn the base, but I'm sorry, there isn't a way to readjust this if you need to. The bevels for the 45 degree vertically cuts you can adjust. That's what we do next. The Makita manual says that it can be perfectly adjusted by eyeballing. For me it didn't work. That's why I used the bevel gauge that I set perfectly on 45 degrees. Loosen the lever on the back first, then tilting the saw blade to its left. The adjusting bolt for this will be on the right side of the bevel scale. And it's the lower bolt. Then it's the same like it was with the zero degree bolt. Tilt it till the point is on the 45 degree mark 
then check with your battle gauge. Make a test cut. If you don't have a battle gauge, don't worry. Cut off two test pieces with a 45 degree bevel. Put the bevels together and you now have a perfectly 90 degree corner on your right. Before doing the other side, make sure to unplug again. For the right 45 degree bevel, it's principally the same, but you need to press the release button to flip it over. It works better to press the button while the blade is tilted to the left. The right 45 degree bevel adjustment bolt is on the left side of the bevel scale. Now you can put the green curved boards back in. For this you put the blade down. Push both curves to the blade. Then turn the saw blade to the left and right 45 degree vertically bevels. The Makita manual says that the blade will cut its way through for a perfectly small curve. I didn't want it to do it like this and left a small gap. I think it was less than a half mil. On the left side of the saw head, there is a stopper arm for the depth. By adjusting the screw, you can set the depth of the cut. You want it to be about a mil lower than the height of your curve board. I used a square to check this. In the end, there is just one more thing to do. But before readjusting the laser, think about how you make your cuts with your miter saw. I mean, the laser is more defined than the saw blade. Centering it in the middle of the blade may not be as wise than adjusting it perfectly to one outside face of the blade. That's what I did. So I can put my pieces of wood with a mark directly under the laser and I know that everything to the left is kept. And everything on the right side of the laser is the waist. Adjusting the laser is more difficult than I thought it would be. Adjusting the laser is more difficult than I thought it would be because your hands are always in the way. Basically try and check as you did before. But please be careful with your eyes, lasers can be dangerous. I think now everything is adjusted. Now you can put all your tools aside and start cutting with perfectly set bevels and miters. Thanks for watching, I hope I could help, see you soon.